Today I want to talk to you about why in today's age you should still be looking to purchase art. Now, for me, in most people's homes, there is two different types of art you will find. There is personal art, which is your family photos. It's the memories in which you have made with the people you are closest to, or memories you have made yourself. And then you have art that affects you personally. That is what I want to talk about today. Now, when I say art that affects you personally, I believe there's only three categories that that kind of falls under. One, it can be location-based. So either the location within the frame offers something to you as the viewer, whether it's a place you've been, a place you want to go, or for example, it could be a beautiful image or a painting of the ocean, and the ocean is one of your favorite places. The second reason is association with the artist. So you either know the artist or you've met them and you would want to buy a piece by them, or you get to the top tier and then you end up having a name associated with that. We see that on the very top end when you look at pieces by Banksy, pieces by going back further, piece by Van Gogh. These are artists that their name is almost greater than the pieces they have created. And finally, and probably the most important and the one that I wanna really, really emphasize on today is emotion. And when I talk about emotion, I believe this is the cornerstone of what makes the artist the top level they get to. Because the smaller the gap of what the artist felt when he made it to what the viewer feels when they see it, I think the greater the level of art. Those pieces that have that are the ones that are timeless, are the ones that offer inspiration, are the ones that prov provide the viewer with something more. Now, how to describe that feeling, I don't know if I've ever been able to. The closest I've got to it is, imagine you're at your favorite concert and you're singing along to every word and you're almost hypnotized by what you're seeing. It's that feeling you get when you are listening to an album start to finish and you've forgotten what you've done in that time. It's almost an experience that you, there's no words to describe to it, but as soon as you get that feeling, you never forget it. And I believe as an artist, when you're able to evoke such an emotional reaction with someone, not only will they never ever forget that reaction, but they're also way more likely to purchase or want to have that piece of art because it offers them that in which they have never ever felt before. And that little piece is exactly why people should still be buying art nowadays. Because if you can find a piece, you find an artist who gives you something more, then that's going to be there every time you see it. And that's what I, what I mean when I say art that affects you personally. Because it affects you on a level that will always, always affect you when you see it or when you come across it because it always stirs up that same emotion you got when you first came across it. And I think for me, I can't speak for other artists, but I can say that is my goal. It's why I've started to embed text within the frames of the piece of my exhibition. Because I want people to step in, see something, see that text and take a step back and look at it differently. And if you can evoke something in that and make them look at something differently and change their perspective, as an artist, that's all you can do is you can hope to give them something more. So when people ask me, why should I buy art now? It's simple, buy art that gives you something in which nothing else can give you that feeling. And that can be something small, like one of these, it doesn't have to be a big piece. It doesn't have to be a massive, two meter by three meter piece of artwork that cost you tens of thousands of dollars. But it has to give you something more. That's the, that's the distinction between good art and great art. Good art will be pleasing to the eye. It'll be aesthetic. It will match your space. Great art will give you something every single time you look at it. So when people say, why should you buy prints nowadays? is because art still has the ability to do that. And art will always have the ability to do that because art has always done that.